Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good morning to all of you. First of all, I would like to say thank you to the committee of IVCOTM 2022 for having us in this international event. My name is Muhammad Iqbal al -Rashid. I'm a PhD student at University Putra Malaysia and also a lecturer at Polytechnic Tempo Jakarta, Indonesia. I would like to introduce our article that we've been working together with my supervisor, Dr. Safi Sidek, from University Putra Malaysia. The title of our article is The Integrated Theory of Sociopreneurial Behavior, Sociopreneurial Behavior Formation and Impact. The relatively recent phenomenon of social entrepreneurship provides the possibility of practical and innovative answers to society's most urgent social difficulties. Meyer and Marty, 2006, defined social entrepreneurship as a process of creating value innovatively for social improvement. From several scholars, we concluded that social entrepreneurs are individuals who are consistently seeking for welfare opportunity and innovate social sustainable way out financially, socially, organizationally, organizationally, and environmentally for the social justice of their community. Social entrepreneurs focus on gaining social benefits rather than maximization on business profit. Based on the definition of Meyer and Marty above, the two most important aspects of sociopreneurship are first, the formation process of sociopreneurial behavior, and secondly, its impact on the community. A number of theories and models have been proposed to expound on the formation process of sociopreneurial behavior, such as the theory of planned behavior by Asgen 1985, the entrepreneurial event model by Safiro 1982, and social entrepreneurial intention model by Meyer and Noboa 2006. In the effort to extend and flourish more research in the sociopreneurship field, this article attempts to draw researchers' attention to both causality and outcome of sociopreneurial behavior through the integrated theory of sociopreneurial behavior. The model is as per display. The word integrated here is chosen because of two reasons. First, it combines the psychological antecedent and multidisciplinary moderators, such as external supports and hinders, in the formation of sociopreneurial behavior, with its impact on both parties involved. Secondly, the model integrates established theories and models from prior studies. The proposed model is, as you can see, is clearly depicts the integration. The first view taken here is that external support or hindrance are significant moderators to strengthen or weaken the prediction of sociopreneurial intention conversion to successful sociopreneurial behavior. Based on recent meta-analysis, Zareh Mozabieh et al. have revealed that studies ended at the intention to form a social enterprise. And more studies on the determinants of sociopreneurial intention and behavior are purely psychological factors, such as perseverance, proactive personality, empathy, self-efficacy, social impact, social worth, perceived desirability, and perceived visibility, and others. This problem is partly related to the opinions that in TPB, the intention would automatically create behavior. Although, Asgen has stated that the intention to perform a behavior may be changed before the actual action takes place due to many external factors, such as a change of information or lack of skill, knowledge, time, opportunity, dependence on other, and etc. The existence of external factors that influence the stability of behavioral intention and therefore the conversion of intention to behavior is not as an automatic process. The TPB is only applicable when the pro probability of success and actual control are less than perfect, which implies that external support are needed to deal with limited control over internal and external hindrance. 
In addition to TBB, another prior model which noted the existence of exogenous factors as moderators between entrepreneurial intention and behavior is called the Entrepreneurial Event Model by Safero 1982. Safero argues that strong intention still requires precipitating events called displacement event such as unemployment and divorce to trigger actual entrepreneurial behavior. Kruger and Carso redefined the precipitating event concept positively as facilitating events such as actual skill, knowledge, and availability of resources. The above-mentioned propositions have not been systematically or comprehensively tested in the past. The external support and hindrance may involve multidisciplinary studies such as economics, finance, technology, human resources, and so on in a single inquiry. This paper, therefore, attempts to provide a systematic, researchable, and action-oriented model to encourage further validation and investigation into the theory. The second part of the integrated theory of sociopreneurial behavior urges researchers to evaluate the sociopreneurial behavior impact on both parties involved, the community and sociopreneur, to ensure that conflict of interest does not exist. Bahena Alvarez, Cordon Pozo, and Delgado Cruz argue that sociopreneur and social venture capitalists are different based on their aims, where sociopreneurs aim to solve the social problem, while social venture capitalists aim for a return on investment from their innovation. It is clear that sociopreneurs prioritize the social problem over personal personal financial gains. Based on that difference, any behavior performed should not be considered as sociopreneurial behavior unless the benefit impacts the community is maximized while giving zero or minimum gain for the performer in such a way that the sociopreneur gain does not jeopardize the objective of impact for the community. For instance, Professor Yunus Gamin Bank initiative of providing financial support would not be considered sociopreneurial behavior if the bank imposed a high interest rate on the borrowers while aiming for a high return to the bank's stakeholders. The high interest rate may cause Bangladesh villagers to refuse financial assistance and therefore objective to reduce poverty is jeopardized. Currently, Grameen Bank always prioritizes the poor, ruthless, landless, and vulnerable. As a result, Grameen Bank provides financial services that impact 7.95 million borrowers from 84,691 84, villages in Bangladesh, and they are helping reducing the poverty. Attention to the impact of social entrepreneurial behavior is recognized by the social entrepreneurial intention model by Meyer and Noboa 2006, which place social enterprise as the outcome of social entrepreneurial behavior. Analysis of the questionnaire found that items to measure social entrepreneurial intention in prior studies are related to the intention to start a social enterprise or social business. In our view, this is too rigid and has no potential for proliferation. The information of social business also does not guarantee any impact on the community unless the main activity is identified. The proposed model may provide benefits to three main parties. For scholars, the model may stimulate the identification and validation of various types of external supports and resources that potentially support or hinder the immediate sociopreneurial intention behavior conversion process. Further, from the outcome perspective, the model may drive more effort to examine whether the social changes or innovations provide direct benefits to the community and measure if a conflict of interest exists. Social innovation projects evaluation could be carried out for funders based on the impact objective set for various types of resources provided. 
And for social planners, it provides guidelines for them to carry out social projects in such a way to avoid so conflict of interest. Finally, this paper provides the approach for future research. The step of the approach, the research aspects, and the example of hypothesis that may be useful to conduct future research are explained in details at the future approach sections. As for the conclusion, the integrated theory of sociopreneurial behavior provides a model which is researchable, action-oriented, and stimulating to extend the research in the field of sociopreneurship. Researchers are encouraged to validate the theory in a different context by finding the best approach suitable to the phenomenon of interest. That would be all. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.